I get questions all the time like, Nicholas, why do you start the Brotherhood? Nicholas, why is it men's only? Nicholas, why don't you just sell sales training or speaking from the stage or closing or marketing or something like that? One of the biggest things that happened to me when I was going into business and I was trying to start my own health and fitness company after losing 60 pounds, I was looking and hungry for resources to be able to learn as an entrepreneur. And one of the reasons why I created the Brotherhood is number one is that 66% higher chance for you and I to hit our goals if we do things in a group of three or more, but that can be any different gender, right? But just in general, that's the social accountability. That's what happens when you flock together as a bird, like geese will fly 70% further on the same work and effort if they fly in a V rather than flying alone. Yet when I first started out, I was going to church, but the people in church weren't great at business. So I had to go out there and figure out who was great at business. And then the people that were great at business weren't great at health. And then I was like, had friends that were healthy, had friends that like this, had friends that like this. And and what ended up happening is I went out and hired mentors in the business world that didn't have the same moral foundation as I had. And I thought that if I just invested to learn business, that's all that I would get from them. Yet we have a quote inside of BDB that is some things are better caught than taught. Much like when I first learned how to golf, one of my favorite mentors of golf actually did chewing tobacco every single day. And even though I was learning how to play golf from him because he was amazing, I actually picked up the habit of spitting even though I didn't dip tobacco because I was just around him. I picked up something, I caught something that I wasn't even learning. And the same thing happened when I got around business mentors, the ones that drink, the ones that cheat on their wives, the ones that do all these things. It was like this influence where I didn't know that I was just just actually just migrating, just adapting to the environment that I was in. It was almost like I was a thermostat. Right? They talk about that you could either shift the atmosphere or you could be a thermostat, and I was adapting to the atmosphere that I was in. I was just telling the current temperature. And so I saw that there was a place where all these people, they were like health people, there was business people, and they were all failing in these different areas. And I was like, man, like where can I find people that are like me? Where can I find people that want to prosper in health, wealth, and relationships, where they want to have amazing families, they want to have fit bodies, and they actually want to go out there and crush it inside a business? Because I knew tons of people that were healthy. I knew tons of people that had great marriages. I knew tons of people that had built big businesses yet none of them wanted to do all three of them at the same time. And that's when I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go out there and create that space, create that transformation, create that community that I always wanted. But why was it men's only? It was so interesting. I remember going to a bachelor party years ago with actually one of our clients inside of the Brotherhood. And that men's only bachelor party, even just in a fun environment, we went out and we had a blast. Like we still talk about it to this day, it was so fun. And the next day we decided, what if we like co-mingled these and we did a co-ed bachelor bachelorette party. It was so interesting, we got all together and it totally fell flat. Everyone went to bed early, it didn't end up working because the guys were worried about the women, they were less vulnerable. And what we found inside of the brotherhood is that not only guys can be themselves, they can work on themselves, they're not worried about serving all these other people, they can actually get fed themselves. It's actually a place where they can be more vulnerable, where they can have a transformation. And we found that that vulnerability creates connection and they're able to be empowered to go back and lead in their families better, lead the women in their lives, be able to go out there and serve better than these communities, just as there's women's communities, we also created a men's community to be able to create that same experience. And the last thing that I think is so important that you're going to love is that I went to so many networking events with businesses and all this was created out of my own experience of what I saw was lacking and I solved that hole in the marketplace that it was for me and obviously thousands and thousands of other men. Remember going to these networking events, maybe you've been there as well. And you go and you exchange cards like, hey, what do you do? This is what I do. Hey, can we help each other? Can you buy from me? Can I buy from you? And if you don't have someone to refer some type of value inside a business world for me, then uh, I don't really have any value to talk to you and it's on to the next one. And I always felt like, man, there's other people I want to connect with outside of just the business sense. And I look at it like this type of connection. It's like pinky connection. Like you could break that connection really, really easily. But when you actually connect with people on a deeper level, connect with them in the form of health and wanting to have a fit body, a family, and wanting to have a great relationship, business, wanting to make a huge impact, it almost creates like a bond like this. And, and what's so interesting is if you actually just grasp your hands together like this, even if people pull, pull on both arms, they're not gonna be able to break that bond. 
And it's the same thing inside of relationships is when you have relationships that are just based on business, just based on a business mastermind. Not that they're bad, it's just shallow. I saw that when relationships were based on these things that we weren't able to go deep. And if you are like me, you wanna go deep inside of relationships, have bonds that are connections that are built on more than just how can I help you right now, yet build deep relationships that last for a lifetime. And those are the things that I saw were missing inside of the marketplace. They were missing inside of men's connection. I went to a men's event and the, none of them wanted to go out and invest in themselves afterwards to be able to build connections. I noticed they weren't business minded. I went to Christian events that weren't business minded, that weren't men only. I went to all these places, fitness events that weren't business people and I just felt like where was my tribe of people that wanted to be three dimensional, that wanted a life that had it all. And I found that what the world taught was that that wasn't possible. That it was sacrifice your health to be able to gain wealth and then sacrifice your wealth to be able to gain your health back. Sacrifice your family to try to gain wealth and sacrifice your happiness along the way. And that's what we got taught. We got taught things from movies, we got taught things from our family, we got taught things from our past experiences, and we started to drop our expectations for our own lives as men based on the experiences that we had had in our own life and that we had seen in other lives. We started shifting our perspective of how we should live based on culture and media and movies, showing that strong men don't work well with other people, that strong men go out there and work alone when it's the exact opposite in life, that's causing men's suicide to go up, that's causing divorce to go up, that's causing fatherless homes to go up, and it's a broken system. What we've done here at BDB is we've healed that system for the businessman. You know, it's not an employee culture. It's just not. If you, you check in, check out, go to the same job every single day, it may not fit in. Like unless you're going for bigger things, like that's not what we're here to do and serve those people. We're serving the men that can't switch it off. Serving the men that consistently think about the impact that they're looking to create and the fact that they only eat what they kill inside of their business. We serve the men that aren't gonna settle for less. They see more inside of their life. We work with the men that go out there and create a vision that's bigger than a product or service. We work with men that wanna serve the world bigger than just making money. And we work with men that don't wanna settle for a life of mediocrity, but will only accept a life where they will have it all. And they will do the things necessary to be able to get there. That is who we are, that is who we all stand for, and that is what we call the brotherhood. If that's something you'd be interested in, drop interested below or click the link somewhere around here. If you want a way to be able to dip your toes into that type of experience, I actually created a free Facebook group that's very exclusive. We delete about 350 people for every 150 that we accept, and that is because we wanna keep everyone to the highest quality engaged, but if you're committed, if you're committed to be engaged, if you're committed to actually living this life, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is check out the Billion Dollar Brotherhood Facebook group. Let them know that I sent you, get accepted, you'll get integrated in and start seeing a transformation today. Let me invest in you. You just invest with your attention and your action and let's create stories together.